Material Rewrite Part 5 Renaming Materials Mostly this video is going to be just using the Asset Manager as most of the tools we require are part of this editor. So we'll start with the first option which is renaming single materials which are working materials like this Chrome. You know it's working because it's generated a thumbnail and you can and you can obviously see the material applied onto a sphere. On the old version of Skyline, if I was to rename this, it would break the material file because the internal contents of the file would not be matching Chrome. So if we double click and open it, the material is Chrome and Chrome is referenced throughout for Basic and Deferred and the Advanced Shader. The new version of Skyline allows you to rename them. So if I call this Chrome 2, it renames it, retakes a thumbnail, and the internal contents are all now Chrome 2. This makes it a lot faster to rename already existing materials, or if you've copied a material and pasted it, you can easily get it up and running again. The second stage to check is multi materials. Uh, as for example, this character's material file. She has three different materials. She has a staff, a, a body, and a hair. And it has three different materials on the inside. As we see, we've got a staff, and we have a body, and there'll be a hair in the, in the middle, around here. There, there you go. If we rename this file, nothing will happen apart from the file being renamed. Because we can't rename the internal contents because of multiple materials existing. In order to rename that sort of material, you'd have to first convert it to singular, singular materials. Then you could rename each one. For example, if I do this, change that back, but this time we'll go convert to single files which has deleted that material file and created us three other files but then the name's a little bit messy so let's remove those underscores from the front of all of these materials and the internal contents of those will now be matching Royal Sorcerer's body, Royal Sorcerer's hair and staff the only problem now is because we've renamed the materials that the mesh is referencing, if we rebooted Skyline, we would actually see that that has a material error. For example, if I close down Skyline and reopen it, regenerate this thumbnail now she has a material error so what we need to do is we need to drag her mesh into the scene and we'll need to reapply all those materials that we renamed so we'll need to have the body the hair and the staff materials redropped on and now if we bake let's just pin the asset manager now if we bake those materials back to the mesh the thumbnail is instantly updated so now that is a working model pack using the new material system the third type of renaming is when you've got a single material but the material file on the inside does not match the material file name so if I go to this concrete barriers folder And we have barrier.material, which is for this barrier mesh. And if I double click and open this, I'll just unpin that so we can get the script editor, you'll see that there is barrier material hash 25, but the material file name is barrier.material. There are no other materials in this file apart from barrier material hash 25. So if we rename this file now, and we'll just call it barrier1. 
That is now renamed the internal contents to match the file name. And if we just remove the one, just so it's back to tidy in how it was before. But now inside, it just says barrier. Barrier is not a good name to have because it's it will end up getting uh, becoming a duplicate resource if you don't use the prepare folder for Skyline. So that's pretty much it for this renaming materials section.